Hey, hi, this is Steve from New Zealand. I'm a, I was originally from uh, the, the Pacific Island, um, namely called The Rock, Niue Island. Captain Cook stated that once when he first um, came across Niue, Savage Island. And what had happened was Captain Cook tried to land on Niue three times. Three times. Never succeeded. That's why he called it Savage. So, why was it that New Way or Captain Cook couldn't land in, in New Way Island? It was simple. The New Way people pretended that they were Savage Street. They were cannibalism. So they painted their mouths red with um, some local link. So whenever Captain Cook tried to land on New Way, they, they saw the, the viciousness of, or the impression anyway of the New Way people. And that's the reason why he, he couldn't land. It was all because of the New Way people pretending they were savaged. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm just explaining to you where I came from. And I'm not a savage. However, I can take a savage attitude perhaps and apply it in the modern world. On the other hand, I am here just to talk to you and to share with you passion. What are you passionate about? What am I passionate about? God, there's so many things I'm so passionate about. One for sure is sex. I love sex. And of course you do too. But that's another story. I'll do another video on that one. But the passion about, the passion that I want to talk about is what are you passionate about? What do you love doing? That you can generate, that you can utilize, and you can probably expose and enhance a little bit more. Some people might call it talent. Maybe talent and passion are exactly the same thing. Or the two can be cohered, work together. So the question is, what are you passionate about? What do you love doing? What do you love doing regardless what people might say? Passionate, pe passionate people do things that other people perhaps won't do. What would you do? Regardless of what people will say. Passion is what drives us to do things of incredible nature. And I think passionate people do a lot of those things that you and I may look at and say, wow, they're gifted. You know, they're intelligent. But of, co of course, all there is that they're passionate about something. They get you educated towards it or keep training towards it. And of course, through time, of doing the same thing over and over again. To us it looks quite incredible. But of course, all that's done, all that's happened is the people's passion has driven them to continue doing whatever they're, they, they're so good at that we see today. And they look professional about it because of that incredible mastery or spirit that carries them through a personal passion to continue doing whatever that is. And I suggest that whatever you're passionate about, that you can turn it into a monetary gain. Turn it into dollar signs, perhaps. Some people will probably use their passion as in a uh, voluntary uh, services. Nothing wrong with that. But today, this world also runs on what it's called monetary process. I mean, we can try and go and catch a plane to, say, Niue, and ask the pilot, can I hop on it for free? I'm sure he'll probably uh, say something nasty back at you because everything today is um, it's ruled by money. And of course we, we have to have a little bit of that money to give us that freedom to do what we want to do. And I guess passion provides us the essence to wake up in the morning to go and do what we need to do to create that income flow. If you're doing work 24-7, Sorry, not 24-7, from say 5 to, oh, back to 5, 9 to 5 sort of job, nothing wrong with that. See, passion drives you to get up early in the morning, maybe money is driving you to get up in the morning. But some people are so passionate about going to work because of the services they provide that the work, workforce gives great value. And if you value what you're passionate about, incredible things can follow from there. And how do you know where is your passion? 
you only got to look back at your own history. What do you love doing? What have you succeeded in doing? And if you put maybe perhaps a bit more time into it and see the extraordinary flow of that passion come into reality. It's quite a simple process. Just keep doing what you're passionate about and you'll see how well it pans out for you and it becomes a great thing for you, of course. When you're passionate about something, people recognize it and pay you money for it. And that's how simple it is. Give it a go. Whatever you're passionate about, go for it. Don't give up until you acquire the necessity of your passion. I love you. This is Steve once again. See you then.